NWA on Friday returns to live action Friday night, June 10th at the Fairfield Recreation Center in Fairfield, Maine. Bell time, 7.30 p.m. And then the next night, Saturday, June 11th at the Mexico Recreation Center in Mexico, Maine. Bell time, 7 p.m. with prices too low to mention on television. See all of your favorite NWA on Fire superstars live and in person. Be there! Welcome back, fans, to another exciting week of professional wrestling. You will see on the show this week, Richie Rotten, as he tangles with the East Coast Cowboy. And then, in a six-man, last-man-standing match for the NWA On Fire Tag Team Championship titles, it is the Dream Team versus the Simone Warriors versus the Hoods. Fans, don't go anywhere! NWA On Fire... You looking at the toughest tag team that NWA has to offer. Two time NWA on fire tag team champions. This spot right here, this marks the beginning of what is about to end. This is where Fala and I agreed to be Juicy Justin's tag team, that six man tag. That night we realized the wrong tag team had the belts. Fala! You and I have been working way too long to stand around and watch them walk around with our belts. We made a name for the NWA on Fire Tag Team Division. We held the belts the longest and we served them the proudest. So tonight, when Fala and I get back in the ring with the Hoods and with the Dream Team, we're going to show you why the Samoan Warriors have always been on top. And why the Samoan Warriors oh. need to go home with those belts and will go home with those belts. What are you doing? As you can see, the Samoan Warriors are hungry. As you can see, he hasn't been fed. Tonight, the Hoods Dream Team be prepared. Because the Samoan Warriors, Fala and Makua, they're coming after you. <laughs> NWA On Fire returns to live action Friday night, June 10th at the Fairfield Recreation Center in Fairfield, Maine. Bell time, 7.30 p.m. And then the next night, Saturday, June 11th at the Mexico Recreation Center in Mexico, Maine. Bell time, 7 p.m. with prices too low to mention on television. See all of your favorite NWA On Fire superstars live and in person. Be there! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of NWA On Fire here on television. What a way to kick things off. Tommy Zabaldi, I'm John Harder with... Richie Rotten. Richie Rotten? Boy, I tell you what, I don't know how he come up with that name, but it kind of fits him. You know, Richie Rotten. He doesn't look like he doesn't look like the nicest guy in the world to me. Richie Rotten's an evil man. He's very vindictive inside the squared circle. He comes from the Body Slam wrestling organization, which comes out of Elmwood Park, New Jersey. You know, Richie Rotten, the hardcore legend, the man from New Jack City, is very violent and very deadly inside the squared circle. Well, i got to agree with you there. I have seen it before, and you're absolutely 100% right. Well, Richie Rodden has a tough task ahead of him as he is going one-on-one -on -one with the East Coast Cowboy. Ah, he's a new one on me. Johnny, have you seen this man before? I've heard stories. You know, he is definitely different than the, uh, the down-south comparativeness of, of this guy. You know, the East Coast Cowboy. You know, he's a strutter. He loves going to the country bars. He loves the honky-tonk. He loves, how, he loves to live his life a redneck way. Well, let's see what happens here, boy. It's going to be a heck of a match. Absolutely, you know. Is that a bull rope he has in his hand? Yeah, it looks like. Looks, looks like. You know, the East Coast Cowboy, you know, he's very, very unorthodox, but Richie Rotten 
has only one method to his madness. There's only one thing on his mind, Johnny. And that's beating somebody up. A total destruction. That's Absolutely. what's on his mind. Absolutely, Tommy. Here's Bob Collins. Before we introduce City, Michigan. He weighs in at 228 pounds. From the BWO, Richie Rotten. Rotten. Uh, no one. And his opponent. He is from Maine to Miami. He is, weighs in tonight at 223 pounds. He is the East Coast Cowboy! From Maine to Miami. Unbelievable. They like him, though. I tell you, he got a heck of a reaction for a new man. And that's all about, this is what it's all about at NWN Fire, trying to get yourself noticed, trying to get yourself recognized here in front of the world. And if you make a name here at NWN Fire, you can make a name anywhere, Tommy. You got that right. You know, and a lot of competitors with NWA on Fire have gone on to bigger and better things. Absolutely, Tommy. And tonight, there's no difference. You got Richie Rotten going one-on-one with the East Coast Cowboy. And later on tonight in our main event, the tag team scene comes full circle. A three-way match for the tag team championship. Oh, that, that's going to be like World War III. Absolutely. The Hoods, the Samoan Warriors, and the Dream Team. And the belts are on the line. Oh, you're talking about six hungry guys, boy. That's what you're talking about. And it's all for the NWA on Fire Tag Team Championships. The heart of tag team wrestling back here in NWA on Fire. But right now, we're getting a little one-on-one -on -one action with Richie Rotten. And the East Coast Cowboy and the fans really love that East Coast Cowboy. Yeah, I know, but we got to stop pandering to the crowd and start worrying about Richie Runt because he's got a he's got a rocky road in front of him, boy, and it's going to be hard traveling that road. And here we go, Rotten and the Cowboy circling each other here. Cowboy trying to get everybody up. There's a collar and elbow, side headlock. You know, if the East Coast Cowboy has a shot against Richie Rotten, he's going to have to use his technical side. He's going to use a lot of wrestling holds. Rotten is a brawler. Rotten. He, Rodden will come at you with both fists flying. He, there's nothing he won't do. Absolutely. You know, Richie Rodden, his crew draw the DDT. As of late, he's been using a sleeper hold, which has been very devastating. I've never seen a sleeper hold that devastating in several years, and Rodden has found a way to use it effectively. Yeah, he has. Right now, the Cowboy with a nice hammer lock. Rodden looking to reverse. No, Cowboy counters an arm ringer. And Richie Rodden here. Rotten backs him into the corner. And he breaks the hold. Oh, for right, nobody oh, home. Oh, oh. I tell you what, the Cowboy was ready for that one. He must have been watching the tapes. He knows what he's going against. And a big close on the corner. Rotten down, but we'll be right back. NWA on Friday returns to live action Friday night, June 10th at the Fairfield Recreation Center in Fairfield, Maine. Bell time, 7.30 p.m. And then the next night, Saturday, June 11th, at the Mexico Recreation Center in Mexico, Maine. Bell time, 7 p.m., with prices too low to mention on television. See all of your favorite NWA on Fire superstars live and in person. Be there! hasn't stopped one iota i tell you johnny this is one action-packed match it's been all east coast cowboy rotten and seen a lot of pain during a commercial break there's a cover referee only counts two oh, yeah rotten kicked out and right now richie rotten getting the heck beat out of him and the cowboy oh. with a drop kick it's a little rodeo roundup right there you know, and that's the hardest drop kick you can do, standing drop kick like that. And it looks so perfect. Now the Cowboy is going for a bunch of punches in the corner. Rotten shoved them off. That referee's got his hands full, doesn't he, Johnny? Oh, but he walked into that side 16 boot that time. And there's... Oh, big clothesline hung him out the dry. Standard Rotten offense. It's all strikes all the time. Big elbow. The referee only counts two. This is what Richie Rod is most effective at. Decimating opponents with his strikes. Look at that knee right to the larynx region. 
again, referee only counts two. Rod looking to decimate his opponent here. You know, by rights, referee should break that. You know that. Yeah. But the knee to the throat, that's not a hold. That's a break. That's illegal. Yes, it is. And referee did get hold the hold. You know, I wrote about Rich Rod and the rest of the BWO for my column at NWAonfire.com with the hard way. You know, plus, uh, besides my column, a bunch of other content not seen anywhere else online. Specifically to NWAonfire.com. Please check it out for all your NWA on Fire needs. Again, NWAonfire.com. Right now, Richie Rotten looking to get himself noticed on NWAonfire.com as he is decimating the East Coast Cowboys. He sure is using that top rope to his advantage. That's for sure. Well, these BWO talents trying to get themselves recognized here in NWA on Fire. And it's all about becoming the best of the best here in NWA on Fire. No disrespect to the company. That's the way they feel. It's not a piece of cake, I'll tell you that. That's true. Rot with a lackadaisical cover. Very unlike Richie Rot, you know. He's not necessarily an unorthodox competitor, you know, so I didn't expect that lackadaisical cover from Richie right. Rot. Usually he goes, for the, he goes for the kill right away, usually. Rotten now look at this, look at this. Rotten digging Come on, at, rep, do something about that. Stand there and look at it. Digging a size 12 right into the throat of the East Coast Cowboy. You know, I haven't heard any yee haws since the early going of this contest from the Cowboy. No, I haven't heard any myself, Johnny. But I believe he's trying to fire me a little rodeo roundup. Irish oh, with, reversal into the corner goes. The Cowboy comes off, catches a big clothesline. You know, I know the East Coast Cowboy knows a little bit of do -si does but I don't think he liked that variation. Rotten caught him with a clothesline. At the reversal. And there's a swinging neck breaker. Good grief what a neck breaker. You call out a New Jersey do -si do Absolutely. <laughs> That's how we do it down in Jersey, but only a two. Rodden shocked at that swinging neck breaker. Normally that's a setup for his DDT, but he only caught two. Rodden now going right back toward digging that boot into the throat of the East Coast Cowboy. Stay off the throw. Referee telling him to stay off the throw. I believe, you know, you're... You're an outstanding, you were an outstanding official, you know, a few weeks ago you were an official in that ring. So you know how tough it is to deal with these big wrestlers. I tell you what, when I was refereeing in my day, that was quite a while ago, things have changed.